2001 Dodge Grand Caravan with a 3.3 liter engine setting a number five injector control circuit trouble code as you can see right here a PO205 and we're going to address this number five injector problem unfortunately I can't show all the different methods that I use in testing this because the injectors under the intake manifold and I can't get to it so all of our tests are going to be done at the engine computer Okay, I have two injector control wires identified. Right now I'm gonna use uh, the number one up top right here as a known good to show you what a known good one should look like. And then this is my number five. This is the number one. Let's take a look at what the number one looks like. Okay, this is the number one injector voltage waveform. You see right here, this is battery voltage, about 14 volts, nice clean line to ground. This will be your, your injector on time from here to here. Then your voltage spike over 60 volts, that's great. Um, and a little mechanical movement known as your pencil hump. This is a good looking injector waveform. Let's take a look at what the number five looks like now. All right, I'm moving to the number five injector. Measured at the computer. Take a look at what this one looks like. Okay, this is the number five injector control wire. We got zero volts right now with the key off. Go ahead and start it up. Got a long crank time, having trouble running. Got flat line zero volts on that wire, got no control. All right, shut it off. Okay, so what we're dealing with with no control is either a short to ground on the control wire, a shorted driver, or we have an open circuit. And uh, I want to show you that this injector is actually on all the time based on the smell of the exhaust and the amount of smoke and the color of the smoke coming out of the tailpipe. Okay, white smoke, what everybody says would be a bad head gasket. This has a number five injector that is stuck open. This is what raw fuel looks like coming out of the tailpipe. Go ahead, let it idle. You can't mistake white smoke. White smoke does not always mean head gasket. This is raw fuel from a stock open number five injector. Okay, so based on the tailpipe emissions, the amount of smoke, the smell of the raw fuel, this injector is definitely on all the time. So that leaves us with two options with this zero volt signal. An open circuit is not one of them. What we're dealing with is either a short to ground on the control wire or a shorted PCM driver for this injector and if this was an injector that I could get to and unplug we would address we would address it at the injector using a test light can't show you that method because I can't get to the injector so we're gonna we're gonna do the rest of our checks right here at the computer okay what I've done is I've uh, disconnected the computer connector and I've taken the the lock off the top so I can access the pins and what I've done is I have removed the number five injector control and if you look at, at this pin right here I pushed it down inside of the connector so it's not going to contact the computer pin and what we're going to do is we're going to take a voltage measurement on that wire with it plugged back in and the results of this test will tell us whether or not we had a short to ground in the wire or a shorted driver. All right, I've put the lock back on the top so the other connectors and or so the other pins don't move around. And you see this one right here was my number five injector control wire. It is no longer in its location, so it's not going to contact the computer pin. And we're going to plug it back in and get a measurement on that wire. All right, just to review what I've done. I pulled the number five injector control wire out of the connector and what I'm going to do is a voltage reading on this and, and what we should see if the wiring integrity is good, I should see a flat line 12 volts on that. It's a ground side switch circuit without it being grounded by the computer it should be high voltage and uh, let's see what we got. Alright, got it started Tyler. Still got zero volts on that wire. I should have 12 volts right now if that was a good circuit and a bad computer. 
The fact that I got zero volts tells us our computer driver is not the problem and that we have a short the ground in this harness somewhere. All right, to confirm the short the ground in the harness, I'm gonna take my test light, I'm gonna connect it to battery positive. When the test light finds the ground, the test light's gonna light. Okay? Touch on this control wire, and it shouldn't light, but if this thing's shorted to ground, it's going to light. Go ahead, start it up. As you can see, that is lit constantly, which means that wire has a constant ground. Again, that's test light connected to battery positive. Touch on that control wire. We have a short two ground on this number five injector control wire. Shut it off. The computer is able to recognize a fault because it has an output state monitor that watches the voltage level on the injector. When the injector's on, it wants to see low voltage. When the injector's off, it wants to see high voltage. And what we have is low voltage all the time, which is why it's flagging that trouble code. Now we gotta find the short in this harness. All right, one thing I forgot to mention, and this is really important when you're doing this kind of testing, that we use the test light connected to battery positive and touched on this wire, the light lit, telling us our harness was shorted. Go ahead and touch it on there. You see the lights lighting. The problem with this test, if you don't think through it, with the car not running, that ASD circuit is off, the injectors do not have power right now, you would not want to do this test with the engine off. Because with the engine off, there's no power, and it's going to backfeed. That test light will backfeed through the circuit, and it will find a ground through the circuit with the engine off. So we did that. I want to emphasize this. We did this test with the engine running. All the other injectors had power. This one had power. That light should not have lit connected to battery positive. That was a valid test. This would not be a valid test right here with the key on, engine off, or with the key off. In either case, on this car, there is no power to the injectors right now, and that's back feeding. So that's not a short with the engine off. Engine must be running to use this test. Okay. We found our short to ground, and it is on the injector harness side of the connector. These are known for this. They, it sits right by the exhaust manifold, and it gets real hot and deteriorates the wires. I think oil leaks on these too, and it will do that. And look at this harness. It's completely destroyed. All these wires are touching each other. This would explain our injector number five that was shortened to ground. Bad harness. Computer's fine. So it's gonna have to have the intake manifold removed and have this harness replaced that sits under the manifold. It goes to the injectors, goes to a couple sensors. Number five injector control wire, short to ground.